Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. How long can you hold your breath before you can't hold your breath any longer? And how long until your lungs give out and the sound that used to fill the void quiets like a mouse at midnight, searching for its piece of the pie? Today I stood in front of a window and imagined what it would be like to fly. No, I didn't. I imagined what it would be like to jump outside the frame that caged me inside. But my better judgment said it wouldn't be very kind if someone you cared about found you. That's the voice that plays like a tape on rewind, rewind, rewind. It wouldn't be fair to a stranger either. Why would someone do such a thing? What could drive someone to that type of depth? Could I be driven to such depths? Would I ever be able to jump? There is no place to be soft in these moments, jump. There's no time to be caught in this moment, jump. There's no need to believe there ever was a moment, jump, sigh, believe, relief in this moment. Cause I could never be the one to be in this moment. Or could I? Jump. Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. Do you first hold your breath? Do you exhale all of your problems and worries before casting your thoughts to the bottom of an otherwise empty place below the poverty line of depressed thoughts and the sad calamity of a haunted house you've called home? I don't know. Maybe someone out there has an answer. But for now, I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact that today I looked up how long it would take to drown. <laughs>